Welcome back to our Flask tutorial. In this video, we're going to see how to use template engine features to display data in a better way. In this case, we're going to take from our previous example, 09 Simple Database App. In this case, if you check it closely, you will see that we are fetching all the authors from our initial data uh, database. In this case, we have four authors, but yet when, when you display them, we see just three authors. And that's because the authors.html, the template used in our 09 example, is hard coding just three authors. We have four, but it's just hard coding three authors. So what we have to do is use the template engine features to iterate through the authors list and display them all together. So to do that, what we're going to do is just uncomment this line and kick off our 10th example. And what if we inspect closely our example, we'll see that in this case, the code looks exactly the same. We are just fetching all the authors from our database and then we're rendering a template. Of course, the template is different and this is what we're showing you. We're showing you that an application can change completely just by changing the template that it renders. So if I show you now the authors template engine template, you will see that instead of hard coding the authors displayed, like in this case, what we are doing is we are iterating through the authors list and we are creating a new list item which, with each one of those authors. So if I reload our website now, you will see that we have now four authors instead of three. Let's quickly see the next example too. So in this case, the example number 10, let me come and comment and comment this example. If we check the example number 11, we're going to see that we have the same source code again, but we are just rendering a new template. In this case, it's authors with conditional. And what we're just doing here is we're using a conditional to either uh, add a poll notation to, our, to some authors or not. So the end result, as you will see, is exactly this. And you can see that because we are adding a bold annotation if the author's ID is less or equal than two. So that's why the first two authors have the bold uh, markup. What we want to show you here is that by just ch changing the template, you can create major changes in your application. The business logic of our examples remain the same, but we just tweaked the way we show or display our data.